Well, hello, and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update, which is now going to be called Conspiracy Theories, because there are so many conspiracy theories out there. One of them is, is that the simple fact that Donald Trump is a paid-for man, meaning that Russia has basically paid for him. And there's a picture that I unfortunately can't show right now, because I don't have it, but I saw that basically said that... Uh, how Donald Trump said that how we're going to take America without firing a bullet because we're going to take it down from the inside. And it showed President Trump's face. So we have that conspiracy theory. Then we have the other conspiracy theory that Steve Mnuchin is basically a Democrat. He's the, uh, the Secretary of the Treasury, which is part of the Donald Trump administration, and they're suspecting that he is a Democrat. And then we also have Nancy Pelosi, that also has weird stuff going on with her. I mean, let's see here. We first have the um, the scandal with her going into a uh, what is it, a salon to get her hair done during COVID nineteen restrictions, and then she, her whining and saying that how she was all set up, which is which could have been the truth, but could not have been the truth. But the simple fact is that she violated COVID nineteen regulations, and so she's under suspicion. And then, as you notice, that the, during this whole stimulus package crap that's been going on here, that basically um, Nancy Pelosi went from $3.4 trillion down to $2.4 trillion, down to $2.2 trillion. And now her and uh, Joe Biden, as well as, uh, was it, Chuck Schumer, the this Democrat in the Senate, have all decided to go up to $3.4 trillion for the stimulus package. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't really think that um, Mitch McConnell is going to be really too happy about that one. He's going to basically look at them and say, what? You want me to take up to $3.4 trillion? No, how about I just pass you a half a trillion dollar skinny bill and you guys can just suck it? Because that's how Mitch McConnell is. But they're expecting, also expecting the simple fact that Joe Biden and Mitch McConnell have a 40-year-old friendship going on between each other. And they're hoping that Biden will be able to play off that to basically get McConnell to, to uh, basically suck her up and up his ante to what they want. I don't think this is actually going to happen. I think Mitch McConnell is going to look at uh, Joe Biden and say, Joe Biden, get the fuck out here, man. You're not worth my time to even bother with $3.4 trillion. The American people, they're only worth half a billion, half a trillion dollars, $500 billion. That is it. That is all we are worth to Mitch McConnell. Because he sees our employment numbers going up. But what he doesn't see is a simple fact that we're going back into winter. Which means these COVID cases are going to ramp up really bad. Which means so is unemployment. Unemployment is going to skyrocket like you would not believe. And in fact, they're already talking about how all the hospitals are almost reaching their capacity. Because the um, we're reaching over 100,000 new cases daily with over a thousand fatalities every single day and yet we have let's see we have pfizer out there that's trying to do a uh, clinical uh, vaccine which they say is 90 percent effective then we have another company out there exactly what they're calling they call miser or, or, or something like that and they say that their vaccine is 94.5 percent effective keep in mind both these two companies are american-based companies then we also have the Russians out there with their Sputnik 5, which, oh, they say they did a clinical trial on. Oh, yeah, really. A clinical trial of 79 people, and that was it, to get their over 90% accuracy. In the United States, Pfizer did their clinical trial involved, I think, 460,000 people to get their average basis of how much, what their percentage is. And the other one also did the exact same thing, but he did it sort of differently. They did it like, basically they got like, what was it, I think 90 people. And out of those 90 people, they gave uh, 11 of them the actual um, vaccine for the, for the um, COVID-19. And the other ones, they gave the placebo. And out of the ones that they gave the vaccine to, only five came down with the actual COVID-19. And out of the placebo side, I think they said uh, 15 of those came down. No, actually, all those came down with COVID-19 because they gave them the placebo. Okay, um, how does giving some of the placebo compared to giving some of the actual vaccine for COVID-19 give you a good basis for foundation of where you're going? 
I mean, come on, really? You give have 900 people, make sure they all have the symptoms, and give them all the vaccine, and then go off that. See what really happens there. I mean, think about it here. I mean, if you have 90 people COVID-19, and you give them all the vaccine, and 75 of those people actually recover from the vaccine, and the other ones seem to get worse, then you have a, a good basis of foundation with that. You might have, let's see, guessing about maybe 60, 70% of, of how effective it is. See, the more people you have, the more percentage you get. And these people are doing, the, I mean, 460,000 uh, participants, that gives you a good basis found for foundation right there. If you have 460,000 people, participating in this clinical trial whereas on the other side you have the 90 people that the people got the actual vaccine and the other people got the placebo and how, how that does i don't think that really gives you a good basis of foundation if you're giving someone a placebo expecting them to get COVID 19 we give other people the vaccine and say oh let's see what happens here i mean we need to figure out how to get this whole vaccine thing done but on the conspiracy theory side like I said, we still have the conspiracy theory of Trump. I mean, he, he's, they're talking about the whole New World Order thing, how Trump was supposed to be the Republican to actually do the New World Order. And now they're all talking about Biden is now the New World Order leader and how he's, how he wants to put us all in lockdown and how he, he, he basically wants to run the world and, you know, he, how he wants to put the military out there and have martial law so the military and the police can run the streets and us. Civilians can be locked in their houses and they can basically tell us what to do like they do in communist China. There's actually a video on YouTube that will actually show you how bad it is over in that communist country because it is really bad. I watched that video and it was terrible. I mean, they can't have a supreme, they, sorry, they can't have an ultimate president or a president because, um, what was it, uh, Kim Jong, Kim Jong Un's, um, great, great, great father was the, um, ultimate president. And they said no one can ever live up to his superiority. So all zone animals can ever become that's a descendant of him is a supreme leader. That's it. I mean, come on. I mean, even over there, if you have, if you take a picture of one of those two ugly statues there, you have to take a picture of the whole statue. You can't just take a picture of the head. Yeah, that's good enough. It has to be the whole, the whole, the whole statue from head to toe. And then how they make their people dress and how crappy their internet is. I mean. This is their whole conspiracy theory that they want to do over the United States is basically base it off of that country. So they tell us what to do. They tell us that you have to take a picture of the whole statue or give us crappy internet and basically confine us to our houses, which would be no good. These are all conspiracy theories that I've been keeping my track on that's been out there. I mean, if you guys have any ideas or any thoughts on the conspiracy theory idea or even the New World Order thought, let me know and I will do my research on it and I will make a video to actually confirm or confirm, who knows, confirm or deny what you say. <laughs> so, but until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed the conspiracy theory ideas out there that I threw out there and I hope I get a good like and you guys enjoyed my commentary. So until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening and please stay safe. And remember, we're not in communist America yet, but hey, stay safe because we're all in this together.